I've got a call wreck. I believe it's on uh, 620. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what road I'm on. It's a Yukon and a Blazer. So I love that call. <laughs> That's very selfish right now. It's okay, Reggie. It's okay. <laughs> that was my favorite. It's all right. I went so hard. I said everything to that car. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Do you know? That's, that's, that's fine, Reggie. I, I understand how you feel. You know? it's, it's, I don't care about my car. Is everyone involved in the accident okay? I, I, I don't know. They haven't told me anything yet. Oh, my God. What's the matter, Reggie? It doesn't look like any people are, people are seriously in sir, correct, sir? God. You won't answer me, but it doesn't look good. It does, okay. okay. People look pretty bad. Okay. And, uh, okay. I hear you, Reggie. You right? I hear you. It's, okay. Okay, it's just an accident, okay? Okay. I could have done something. I didn't need to swerve out of the way. Well, it could have been they worse. They would have compensated back. Reggie, it could have been worse if you hadn't have swerved. Do you know what I'm saying? It could have been worse. It could have been completely avoided, completely avoided, completely avoided. My name is Jacqueline Saborido. This is a picture of me before I was hit by a drunk driver. Before the car caught fire. Before two of my friends died. Before I needed more than 40 operations. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. The person that caused my, my accident destroyed my life. Completely.
from a football field on Friday to a prison cell on Sunday. That quick. That quick. Through the choices I made on one, one Saturday. And so it, it can happen. I had never been in any trouble before in my life. I had never gotten any DWIs or gotten in trouble with alcohol at all. But the one time that I made that horrible decision, and the one time that I got in trouble, one time, it was devastating. Anybody can come to prison and anybody can be involved in a, a, a drinking and driving collision. It's not something that just happens to alcoholics or uh, the bad, the trouble kids. Knowing what's happened, knowing the, the, the damage that I've caused to so many people and so many families, uh, I, it's something that I can't describe to anybody. And the prison sentence is nothing compared to the life sentence that I'm going to live with knowing what I did and the consequences of what I did. The loss of life. It didn't have to happen. Period. Yeah, I, I received so many letters, um, email letters and regular letters that say a common word that is inspiration. So, I'm happy that people feel like a, I inspired them, but all times I think if you want to do anything, never give up. You need to keep going and continue the life and, you know, whatever thing happens in your life, you need to keep going and to be happy. Yes. to American people. Uh, I didn't know about American people in Austin before the accident, before the crash, but after I met so many people and I'm, I'm very, very grateful to all of them because I, I couldn't imagine all people can help me and they help me, you know, whatever the way was possible, writing a note, sending an email, donate money, whatever. Two dollars, ten dollars, whatever, you know, but this is it's something that that keep me going and you know and we think oh my goodness until today exist uh, good human beings in the war, and, you know, and I know few words in English that to say this, so I prefer only to say thank you so much for everything that all people here in in the United States, American, Hispanic, whatever, helped me.